It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Makoto. C Celeste, what happened? I was uh, stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the grounder. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the hand. Head. Justice hammer? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now cause my lack of daily exercise. I curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked? With this? Justice hammer one? Makoto, Celeste! Okay. I found Sakura! C Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. But it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. My time was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end. So I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little store around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... That's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m. Just after that time it ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that was about... Just about an hour ago, right when we were all made in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose conscience. Which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? I told him if... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. So you were willing to throw away all your pride? It was a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Hifumi. Hifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain, it would probably be faster if I showed you. Indeed. Show us. This is a whole hand me down. His digital camera. Actually. You don't mean. I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. S seriously? Let's okay. see it. I would tell you if you would. If. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all look to the camera. Huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, they're very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy this weird robot guy dragged the me away and I took this right after being attacked in other words a full hour ago which is why if we don't hurry it could become a serious problem I believe I understand what happened well no there is much I don't understand but the point is someone just like that dragged the me away and it happened over an hour ago this is bad, we have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this m mysterious man went? When they left the rec room, they were headed left. That's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Then he must be down there, right? The second floor, that's where... The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? 
Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Sorry, I didn't this have time to go bad. look for her. If a strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. What? Hey, you two. What's going on? What's all the fuss? Yeah, you game guys playing a game or something? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Fumi? Nope, nope, sure haven't. Are they on this floor? Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. We came here together. No, you're all just stalking me. Hey, fuck you. Genocide Jack. Anyway, can you guys help look for it? Let's look for them. Why? What happened? There's no time to explain now. We'll explain later. Well, fine. It looks like something interesting is going on. Sounds like something interesting is going on. If you me, Kyoko, if you can hear me, say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Oh. Did you hear something? Perhaps. Maybe. I think it came from the library. The library? Okay, let's go. Run right into the library as fast as our legs will carry us. When we open the door to the library... It hurts. It hurts. We found a family seriously injured. Uh, are you okay? I'm glad to see you're still alive. It's super bad though. What? Look at all the blood. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice, or just what I decided to call him just now. What are you talking about? Hang on, that's a bit. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. F2. Robo Justice, uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. Why is there that hesitation? Okay. So we need to look out for. In when they mention Robo Justice again. Because that's a bit odd. I don't know why though. That mm -hmm. guy was Robo Justice. This Robo Justice are you referring to is. This is not. What the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacks Celeste and Ifumi. Isn't that right, Ifumi? This is unforgivable! Yeah, that's him! I'm sure of it! Robo Justice! R and a J. So wait, why is he making it up? It can't be! Robo Justice, huh? It just keeps getting stranger. Because there's an R and a J. Um Right now what? It can't be. Holy hammer. I see it. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is... Justice Hammer 2. And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with a hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. <laughs> bonked me right on the head. <laughs> right. Hey, you fucking... <laughs> a hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? Oh. It's him. A robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? That's Transformers. Which it looks like anyway, it looks like Optimus Prime. <laughs> Why is he here? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get to Fumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated yeah. as soon as possible. You're right, let's go! Mm -hmm. mm, thank you everyone. So why is he so excited? Either Fumi can't be cured or someone else is dead. 
and the Robo guy killed him. Hmm, okay, so we need to find out who the Robo guy is. We moved to Fabi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. How are you feeling, Hifumi? Do you want me to take a look at you? Uh, I'm okay. I think he stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy though. Then. Maybe you should rest here I for a while. E well. Yeah, good idea. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery yes, assailant. Indeed. indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size, first so one and now two. If that was a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it's, assume it's bigger than the first two. If you got hit with anything he anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Tell us what happened to you, Fumi. Well, I woke up early this morning, started looking for Alter Ego, hey everyone else. I went to your first floor, and that's when your strange trashy man catch me. That must be what I witnessed around, at around 7 this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came a hammer! That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura and I went together and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have had a bite. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness and black as night. Well, why do you know that? Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. Anyways, that meant Bioko and Togo were together at the time, meaning they also have other boys. Then the only ones who don't have other boys for when Celeste and Nafumi attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. She might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on! Kyoko's with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Afumi are attacked, so... I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. You saying Kyoko's working with a mastermind? But Th that's not possible, isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Save this discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on finding the suspicious okay. individual. Yeah, we don't hurry. There's only gonna be there's only gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Tucker and Hero haven't shown up yet. She, she's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Don't don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. Understood. Take care of yourself. Okay, let's go. Wait, hang on. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Don't bother looking for reason from a deviant. So what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Oh, up on the second floor then. You bastard, you wanna get away from me. We all shot towards the stairs. Okay. Hang on, can I check it here? Oh, I can. Okay, that's fine. Right, uh, regulations, because can he actually kill two people? So are people actually in danger of, two, of him killing two people? Guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people during any single killing game. Okay, so no, he could kill two people. <clears throat> he must be around here somewhere. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. But we don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and lock him running. Okay, but what should we yell? Anything, it doesn't matter. Then he's... Ha! Okay. Ha! Huh? Or doye Or whatever you want! Just yell loud enough so we can hear you! Hmm, doye. 
I have never had such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. Hey, Mr. Robot, where you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna come decommission ya. We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Right, let's go right to left again. Left to right, even. 